In the next 15 minutes, I'm going to give you the foundation you need to package any of your Unreal Engine projects so you can share them with your friends and family. Let's jump right in and get started. Okay, so we're going to start out with a third person project uh, in 5.4. And, you know, for packaging a game, I wanted to not just to be um, just a default actual demo but rather something customized a little bit to where you can know that you've saved your project. So to start out with, we're going to start by naming our project. In my case, I'm just going to use my name. I'm just going to call it the swag game. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select create. Now, once you're inside of your project, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new level. So we're going to select the control and then the end key. And we're going to select Open World. Now, once this project is loaded up, the next thing we want to do is we want to go to the World Settings tab, OK? Now, if you don't have this populated, it's OK. You can just go to Windows and then select this and hit the checkbox here. And that should allow you to have the World Settings tab. Now, under World Settings, we're going to scroll down a bit, right under Game Mode Overdrive. What we're going to do is we're going to select the third person game mode. And then we're also, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the outliner and we're going to select the landscape. Just for the heck of it, we're going to change this landscape to a different material. So we can just lower this down here and then select it in the outliner, go to details, and we're going to scroll down. Under landscape material, under landscape, we're going to select this drop down here. And for this one, I'm just going to do grass. And I'm just going to select the starter material grass. OK, excellent. So next, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to save this level okay, with our changes. So we're going to hit the Save key in the upper left corner. And I'm just going to call this the hills. And I'm going to put it inside the third person under maps right here. And I'm going to hit Save. For this next part, what I want to do is I want to go to the Outliner again. I want to select the Start, Player Start, and then hit the F key. And then right here, you'll see it puts us right here at the F key. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the Select mode, and I'm going to select Landscape. And basically, I'm just going to give this area a little bit of some hilliness to it, just so we can see a difference. So let's see. So we can do a control Z there. All right. So I'm going to, let's see, we're going to start over here. And actually, we can just zoom out a bit. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a little cove here where my, where my character can run around. So we're going to zoom all the way back out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, sculpt this land a little bit to make a bunch of little hills here. And then, um, you know, once I get done, you know, we can move on to the next step. But if you want, you can watch me do it. Okay, so I'm back. So for the next part, we're going to go into our edit. We're going to go into project settings. Now, in project settings here, I'm just going to do something really simple for this description. I'm going to hit the three things here, and I'm going to go to my desktop, because I have a picture I've already pre-saved. So I'm going to use my swag pick here and hit open. Now, for this, it's required that it's a PNG file, and it needs to be 192 by 192. And that's what will allow you to fit here, OK? For the description, I'm just going to call it the swag game. And then we can go ahead and hit Save All. OK, now for the next part, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to go to the tab under Projects. We're going to go to uh, Supported Platforms. And right here, we can uncheck all. And what I'm doing here is I'm only going to leave the Windows one checked. Now, all this is doing is not displaying this when we go to uh, our actual final build. So you won't see any of these options here, only the Windows, OK? 
So if you're packaging a different game, you're going to use whatever options you're using, okay? Next, we're going to go to the packaging. Now, here under packaging, we're going to need to, well, actually, first, let's go to maps and modes first, which is right here. We're going to set the default maps and modes to the actual level we just created, which is called the hills. And we're going to do that down here as well. Next, we're going to move to the packaging part. And then right here, under build configuration, this is very important. We're going to change it from development to shipping, OK? OK, so yeah, once that's done, we can uh, go ahead and we can go ahead and select the save all. And we're going to close the project settings here because we're pretty much done. Hey, real quick, sorry about the interrupt. I just wanted to show you where we're going next after this part of the project. So we're just going to make a custom character just to give our project a little bit more customize, customizing. So it's, when we do it, we're going to set up the logic and it's going to look a little like this. If you're enjoying the content, subscribe. If you like the content, then like the content. Anyway, back to the video. Now, in order to further customize our, our game here, we're going to need to open up the content drawer. And we're going to go to content, we're going to go to third person, and then we're going to go to blueprint. Under blueprint, we're going to open up the third person character. We can drag and drop this and put in a tab next to it. Now, right here, we're just going to do a slight customization, uh, just so our character looks a little bit different, and we have a little functionality in our, our, you know, our temporary demo game here. So we're going to right click, and we're going to type in the one key. Add the one key. Then next, we're going to right click and we're going to add a flip flop. And we can hook that up to the pressed. And then right here, we're going to grab the capsule component, drag it on to the graph, and we're going to do a set 3D scale. So we want the world scale here. We're going to put this up here. And while that's highlighted, we're going to do a control D to duplicate it. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to connect these up. and make sure that we connect up the target for this one. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to set the scale to a very large character here by putting it at three times his size. And then for the default, we're just going to leave it at one. So when we flip, flap, it's flip, flap, flip, flop, <laughs> we're going to switch between the large size and the small size. Now, when you do this, because the character is so big, the movement's not going to be right. So we're going to grab our movement component, and we're going to drag and drop it and put it right here. We're going to drag off of here, and we're going to set max walk speed, OK? And we're going to do the same thing like we did earlier, Control-D to duplicate. And we're going to connect these up. Make sure that we have the targets set, so we're affecting that. And then for the movement speed, for the larger size person, we're going to make it three times as fast as the normal, so 1,500. And then for the regular, we're going to do 500, which is the default max speed. Next, we're going to do one more customization. We're going to grab the mesh, and we're going to drag it out here. And we're going to set material. We're going to just put it right here, and then we're going to do a Control D, and that'll duplicate it. And then what we can do is we can set this here. While we're here, we're going to drag and set the target, like so. Now, for this material, when you're in the big size, we're going to only change element 0, which is going to change the arms and legs. And we're going to type in the word copper, and we're going to use the copper material to change that character's color. Now, for this bottom one, we're going to go ahead and select our mesh again. And we're going to look at the zero for the default mesh. So back to the mesh. And we're going to use this one. But we got to browse to it by selecting the Browse button. And then while that's highlighted, we can just select this population key, select that one, and it'll populate that. We'll do a compile and a save. The other important thing that we're going to do, now that we've got our character customized, 
we're going to right click here and we're going to type in ESC and that's going to give us the keyboard escape key and we're going to drag off of here and what we're going to do is we're going to do a quit game. Okay, this is very important because if you don't do this and you package the game and there's no way to quit it, yeah, it's like you have to do this weird hit the Windows key, select and close thing, and that's no fun. Now we can do a compile and a save. Now, some very important thing to do before you uh, actually do anything, make sure everything compiles whenever you make a project. So make sure you compile and save with no errors. The next thing is you want to do is you want to test out your project. So we're going to just hit the play button. And then there we are in our normal state. And remember, if we flip flop to the one key, now we're in the larger state. And remember, our movement rate is a lot faster. So that's the other thing that's going on. Okay. And then if we hit the one key again, we're back to normal and we hit the escape key and then we've quit the game. But that's typical for that. Now, for this next and final part, we're going to go to platforms right here. We're going to go to Windows, and we're going to select the shipping right here, okay? And then what we want to do is after we select shipping, here's the final step. We're just going to hit pro, um, package the project. And then once we package the project, we're going to have to select a folder. Now, me, typically, I like to put it on my desktop. So it's going to be sitting here right on my desktop. Then that way I can show you from there, okay? Now, once it's on desktop, hit select, and then we just stand by and we wait. Once the package has completed, then we can go ahead and we can check our desktop to see what we got. So I'm just going to minimize this. I close that. And then right here, you're going to get a folder that's inside of whatever folder you put in under Windows. You're going to double click it. And then right here, you can see my swag game. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit this, double click it, and there's our game, fully packaged, all ready to go. We can walk around and we can even hit the one key to switch to our big size because we know this is our custom game. And then we can hit the one size again and go back. And then finally we can hit escape. Let me go back into the game here. Now, once this is all done, you can share it by just taking that whole folder and uh, zipping it up and sending it to your friends. And you can do this with all, you know, all your projects once you've uh, packaged them. But remember, you will get errors and things inside of bigger projects, and you'll have to go through and follow the error messages to fix and clean up any projects that have missing assets or blueprints that are broken and et cetera. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, Please uh, go ahead and check out this next video I have lined up here for you, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.